Hello, and welcome to the channel. I wanted to start off this channel with a piece of hardware that I found extremely interesting. Something that honestly reminds me of a Stingray, if you could see it, hopefully you can. But yeah, I haven't seen a lot of videos about this actual handset. And I just wanted to make one to show off all its, uh, its ports and all the, uh, the cool, fun things that Microtech has put into this unit itself. Okay, so first I would like to just mention the coolest thing about this wireless access point is that it's all metal. It's meant to be a outdoor access point. I saw a few videos on YouTube. Um, it looks like a uh, Venezuelan village where they're using it to supply LTE to the surrounding uh, houses in that area. Um, anything that's industrial, I'm kind of drawn to. I like the, the use case of it and it feels like it's built to last in my opinion. But just opening it up here and sometimes this, uh, this bracket right here is a little difficult to get off completely. Just have to get your nail in there if you have nails. Just got to work at it. But starting off, you have the uh, a 12 to 28 uh, DC port right here, and then you also have the SFP. And notably enough, this is SFP, not SFP plus. So all it supports is up to 2.5 gigabit, which some would say, isn't that enough? In the world of networking, you'll always want more throughput, you always want more speed, but it's awesome to see it here, as well as this PoE in, which comes with this adapter right here in the box itself. Um, I've seen some other uh, places where they sell this actual unit show that this is an add-on, but where, from where I ordered it from, Baltic Networks, it came with the actual unit. And just moving along, you have a nano SIM slot right there, as well as a USB if you wanted to host some type of files on the actual network itself. Closing it up. I would also like to mention that inside here, there is a mini PCIe slot that you can place a, a few different types of modules in there. The one that I've seen that's the most popular is a LoRa uh, WAN module. This you can connect to a bunch of different things and I'm gonna have a video on that um, most likely in the next coming weeks. Just drop a comment below and let me know if you wanna see that type of uh, content. I think it's gonna be really cool for that. Moving up top here, Tighten these down just so it stays a little secure. Go right here. And you release these from the top. You can take off this top part right here. And as you can see, you see multiple different inputs. And what I didn't understand before, before I knew you could open this up and place that mini, uh, something into the mini PCIe slot, you can actually drill into here and add different uh, antennas if you want to. I just stuck with the uh, default and I actually got these off of uh, Amazon. Uh, they're small little antennas that can fit in the housing because I like to have the entire unit together. I think when you break it apart or you even run the uh, like the lines right through here, it's a little ugly for me, uh, but to each their own, absolutely. And again, I just wanted to share an overview of this device itself. You can see the indicator lights. You have one for power, SFP, Ethernet, and then you have the range of the actual Wi-Fi signal that's happening right there as well. And these are all indicator lights and they, they light up blue and white, I believe. Also, it came with the uh, unit itself, which I'm not gonna feature in this video. There are rubber grommets in, in, that are inserted into here to, to stop water and other types of debris from getting in if you decide to place this outside. And just to close it up, you just use my screw screw driver right here. Close it up real quick. Be careful not to strip. I'm stripping mine a little bit, but it's okay. And right there, we have the uh, the Micro Tick Net Metal AX device. An amazing looking piece of hardware that I am sure will last a long time.